I'm Joey Henderson and I'm with iConnect Training. And today I want to show you our TU-106 dual application refrigeration training system. Now what we have here is we have two evaporators. This is our low temp evaporator and this is our medium temp evaporator. So if we work our way down here, we've actually got, as you can see, all the components spread out. We've got our major components here. We've got our accumulator. We've got our compressor. We've got an oil separator. We've got a receiver. Here we've got our condenser coil, a defrost time clock, evaporator one, a medium temp, with this thermostat over here. Here we have our second evaporator, which is our low temp evaporator with this thermostat over here. If you look over here, we actually have a heat exchanger, liquid line solenoids valve two and one. Each of these are controlled by each of the thermostats. And then we have a flow meter that actually shows you the flow rate of the refrigerant into each coil. This gives the students a good visual of what's going on. We have our sight glasses that are gonna show the change of refrigerant flow through the system. We have them here on all our coils. And then here we have a dual pressure sensor. So here we have our, our low pressure and then we have our high pressure cutout. Now with all the training knobs here we have, we can actually isolate different meter devices and different coils. So you can run this system by using our isolation valves. We can either use it as a single evaporator or dual evaporator. Here we have each of these valves to simulate refrigerant flow through each of the different metering devices. So we have an automatic expansion valve, we have a thermostatic expansion valve, and we have a cap tube. So with these valves, you would actually choose which one you want to show to the students. We even have an access port here where if you wanted to add in a fourth metering device of your own, whether it be different length of capillary tubes, or you could have a, another expansion valve that maybe you would put a restriction inside of and then add it to here. Really, whatever you want to do with it, it's just sitting there ready for you to go. And it's also access ports in the whole system. Here we have our bi-flow filter dryer, and then we have a sight glass. Here we have our other expansion valve. So with this here, we can isolate it or we can use it to meter into the indoor coil. Up inside here, which you can't see, we actually have a, a defrost temperature fan delay built in for it. We also have heaters built in here for defrost. And this system is controlled for defrost control by our defrost time clock. So you can actually show the students an actual working defrost time clock. You can have them wire it up and troubleshoot it. This thermostat here will open and close this solenoid valve or if you want to, you can bypass it. It all depends on how you want to teach with it. One of the things I like to do as an instructor is first of all, I use this to explain the entire refrigeration cycle through the system. And I like to have the students go through and visually work their way through it. So, you know, we've got our hot, high pressure discharge gas coming out of the compressor and we can follow it through the system. Here we have our gauges built into it. So they're already seeing the pressure changes through it. We get into our condenser. Of course, we go through there, and as we come out, you can actually see it coming out as a subcooled liquid. Here we have a different controls for the different fans and the compressor. So we're going to flip it over here. We have two options for our indoor fan. We can put it on adjustable, and on the back side of this training unit, we actually have rheostats to adjust the CFMs on the coils so you can simulate restricted airflow, frosted up coils. We have here our condenser fan and we can adjust the airflow on a condenser. We can adjust the airflow on evaporator one and evaporator two. Now I've turned the compressor on and as this semi-aromatic compressor begins to run, you can actually see the refrigerant begin to flow through our flow meters. You can see it begin to flash right here through the side glass. So this gives the students an actual visual of all the conditions of the refrigerant as it changes. You can even simulate partial restrictions in the metering devices as well. So with this system, we've got the refrigerant side we can troubleshoot and explain. 
We have the electrical side of it through our thermostats, through our defrost. We can also get into the compressor. We can also get into the hard start kit at the compressor. And then also we can play with the airflow as well. So you can adjust the airflow and they can see what a dramatic difference airflow changes make with the pressures and temperatures. What I like to do is create a scenario, tell them what do you think is gonna happen if we start losing airflow on the evaporator coil. Let them work through it, come up with some explanations, and then you say, now let's see what it really does. And then you can adjust the airflow on one of these coils and they can watch as the pressures change, as the refrigerant changes, and see for themselves just what a dramatic difference it makes. So that's a brief explanation of what this unit is designed and built to do. But as you know, as an instructor, the only limitation is your imagination on how you use this with your students.